Good morning and welcome back to the Morning Mindset of Live, Build, Change. This is my attempt as your brother in Christ to encourage you to start your day with your mind in the right place, with your mind aligned to the truth of God's Word. I'm looking at the book of Proverbs lately just to draw out some principles of wisdom that are beneficial for us to have in our minds as we go throughout the day. And here in Proverbs chapter number 11, we come to a verse that's very, very interesting. It says in verse 12, Whoever belittles his neighbor lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. So belittling your neighbor, I mean, first of all, it may be helpful, like that parable in the New Testament, for us to understand who is our neighbor. You know, Jesus said your neighbor is anyone around you who is in need or someone around you who is a person you rub shoulders with. That's your neighbor. And this verse is telling us whoever belittles his neighbor, so talks him down or slanders him or gossips about him, makes him look bad. A person who does that lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. Isn't that interesting? So what is it about being a person of understanding that would cause us to remain silent instead of saying something negative about a person that we may know? Well, I think one of the things that a person of understanding would grasp in a situation like this is that they don't really know all the facts. And you may think you know what's going on in someone's life and what they did in a certain circumstance, But the facts are that there's more facts than you know. You see, the person of understanding remains silent rather than belittle his neighbor. And you know, think about it this way as well. What impression does it give to other people when you are a person who speaks ill of other people? What do they think of you? Well, they tend to kind of wonder how trustworthy you are. They begin to wonder if... Maybe you talk ill of them when they are not around. You see the point? A man of understanding holds his tongue. A man of understanding remains silent. If we go in and look at the next verse, it says, Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. You see, there's no glory, there's no good really that comes in airing other people's dirty laundry. There's no reason for it other than just flat out selfishness, just wanting to make yourself look better compared to the negative report that you give on that other person. And I think this is really important for us to understand because we live in a day, especially in the the world of talk news and talk radio, where people are often tearing each other down, speaking ill of each other. You hear it in the political spectrum all the time. And I'm all for one having the truth come out when it comes to evaluating a candidate. But the reality is this. In everyday life, there's really not much place for us to be going around saying negative about other people. Our need is to be a person of encouragement, a person of wisdom who holds their tongue and is this person of understanding who remains silent. So think about your practices. Think about the way that you relate with people. Is there any sense in which this applies to you in which you need to apply it to yourself? Or you might say, I need to be careful that I'm not belittling my neighbor, whether they be at work or in the neighborhood or in my church community. I want to be that person of understanding. God help us to be that person of understanding of people who are wise, who are encouraging, who are building others up rather than belittling so that we can be people who express your heart of love and grace and mercy and acceptance to those around us. I want to encourage you, be that person in your world today, the one that people are refreshed by rather than dragged down by. And join me again tomorrow morning as we dig into more wisdom from the book of Proverbs on the Morning Mindset from Live, Build, Change.